Adobe Premiere has a lot of different options when it comes to creating lower third just like these. And back in the day, I always had to rely on Adobe After Effects, which is far too advanced of a software for most people. But now you could do everything right inside of Adobe Premiere for creating lower thirds. And I also put a free trial link below to Adobe Premiere Pro if you wanna follow along and you don't have Adobe Premiere Pro. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you another resource for much more advanced lower third graphics that are fully animated and fully customizable. They take about 20, 30 seconds to customize. You could download them as these things called Mogur files that you just drop into Adobe Premiere as a template. But I'll show you that at the end. Right now, I wanna show you how to create a lower third completely from scratch. So this is my edited project here. I'm gonna put a lower third on this video track number two on top of my video file, this video file here. So in order to do that, the first thing I typically like to do is I like to turn on these things called safe margins. If you press this wrench icon here, you have something down here called safe margins. Basically, this gives you a line to figure out where your lower third graphic should be. By design, and typically most people that create graphics, they put the lower third right over here on the bottom left of the screen. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you typically put it inside of this line right here. So in order to create a lower third, first you do text. So to do text, I'm gonna choose the text tool over here, or you could just press T on your keyboard. And then it's typically two lines. The first line is gonna be your name. So I'm gonna put my name here. The second line is typically a title. So name and title. Now I could go ahead and just select this right here. And if I go over here, let me hide myself from this panel. So right over here, there's a text panel under effect control. So if you go over here, you could change the fonts. So I'll go ahead and do that. So let's do a simple font like Arial Bolt here. I could change the size if I want to over here. And typically I'm gonna select the second line and make it a bit smaller. In fact, a lot smaller, maybe there. And then if I wanna put it right in the corner, I just use the position slider. So this one brings it down and this one brings it over, right? So this is as simple as a lower third could get, but I'm gonna show you a little bit more here. So next, what you wanna do is you wanna basically stretch this out for as long or short as you need it to be. So let's say I wanna go from here to here. This is just like any video track. You could basically edit it the same way. And then next, what I wanna do is I wanna actually put kind of a rectangular background. So if you come over here under graphics and title and new, there's this thing called rectangle, you could choose it. And it's gonna give you this rectangle here. And then under effects control, you get a shapes panel. So I could actually change the fill color of this. So let's go ahead and change it to maybe a red here. I'm gonna press okay. And then I'm gonna choose the move tool here. That's the keyboard shortcut V. And then I could just move this on top and then stretch it out to cover my text. And then if I go over here, all I have to do is make sure this shape layer is under the text layer. So I just grab it and bring it down. So now the text is on top and shape is in the back, okay? And then you could obviously change the shape any way you want. You could even drop a shadow to it. So let me go ahead and press play here. Okay, so it doesn't come in uh, very gradually. So I like to right click over here and add a transition and one at the end. So now it's gonna fade in. And then when it's done, and if I decide it needs to be actually shorter, it's gonna fade out just like that. Now that's how you create one from scratch. But let me show you these animated lower thirds that you could just download. I'll show you exactly how to bring them in, how to search for them and how to customize them too. And this is typically what I end up doing because these are just much more advanced and they take even less time than creating them from scratch. So this website is called Envato Elements. And if you've never heard of it before, it's basically an all-in-one creative platform for all kinds of different digital assets. So all I did was I just searched for lower thirds on the search box and you could see you basically get these bundles of lower thirds and you could download them and customize any one. Some of them come with more than like 20 different lower thirds just for one. And this platform has a seven day free trial where you could get these without any watermarks, but it also has unlimited downloads once you subscribe, you could download everything you want, not just lower thirds. They also have music, royalty free music. They have millions of stock video and stock photos. Pretty much everything I use for video creation on YouTube I use from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this one. I've already looked at this one, I really like it. And this gives you six different ones. You just press the download tab right here. 
And then it's gonna go ahead and download it as a zip file. This is pretty small zip file. Let me show you how to open it up. Inside the zip files, you typically get a help document, which is a PDF, and you usually get a video tutorial from a lot of these, which is really helpful because it's very specific to this, but I'll show you how to do it here. You get these things called Mogert files for lower thirds. So let me go to Premiere to show you how to import this. All you have to do is go to Window, change your workspace to Graphics over here, and then this Graphics panel, Essential Graphics, pops up. On the very bottom, there's a plus sign. If you press it, you could actually install this Mogert file. So select it and press Open. Then I'm going to go in and search. It was called Lower Thirds. I just happen to have a lot of these, so I do have to actually search to find the right one. And if I go to the bottom, I should get the latest ones, which is this one right here. I'm going to bring it over here. Let me delete this other one, and I'll just work with this one. I'm going to put this in place of the other one here. And look how simple this is. It's already putting it sort of where I need it to go, right? So I don't even have to move this around yet. But to customize it, under Essential Graphics, pretty much right here, I double click, type my name, right? That's the first line. And then my title, right? I go over here and type that in. And then if any of this needs to be changed or if I want to change the size, you see how simple this is? It's just very basic changes. You could also change the font here. So if I wanted Arial Black again or Arial Bold, I could choose the same thing. In this case, the reason why I like this a lot is because usually professional designers have picked these fonts to work well together and the colors too. And this one doesn't even need a background because it's really easy to read. So I'm going to leave it as is. But if you decide to change the brackets, for example, you could just select these and I could change the brackets. And then I could move this track maybe over a little bit to fit like that. And there it is. There is your lower third. And let me show you the animation. If I press play, you could see it has got a couple of different animations right here that were kind of keyframed. And again, it takes a long time just to do those little tweaks. This took less than 30 seconds to fully customize. So this is my preferred method, but doing it from scratch is also another option. Again, all the resources are in the description. And I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.